on this edition of the city newsroom we're joining uh, men from the ghana police service who are embarking on a special operation uh, to ensure enforcement with the COVID 19 safety uh, protocols just gone by was the briefing by director of operations of the ghana police service dcop dr saibu gariba uh, briefing the men and of course uh, giving them instructions on this particular uh, operation from the period of 10 p.m we are going to embark strictly on cramping down on those who are violating covid rules and operating bars and nightclubs so for various reasons some of our teams would be working in certain areas our teams in adenta and so many areas the details will be given to eagle one and we are going to ensure that around 10 p.m going you refocus your attention to nightclubs and then also uh, this is nightclubs and bars to ensure that when you go please anybody who violates presidential directive must be arrested look for the leadership or the operators of such nightclubs and bars arrest them and then detain them for further investigations so when you arrest them please send them to the nearest police station inform eagle one who ensure that they are detained the next morning we inform cid headquarters to pick up this matter for further investigations Therefore, all arrests that you do will be handled by national headquarters. It means that arrests regarding the, 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 the COVID protocols, especially those who refuse to adhere to the presidential directive, will be arrested and those cases will be investigated by national headquarters, especially the CID headquarters. So this is a special de deployment, uh, men drawn from various arms of the police service. Want to get the details uh, of this particular team embarking on this special operation. Anas Seidu is my colleague and our security correspondent and he joins me with the details. Hello Anas. Thank you Nana. Right, so basically run us through this uh, particular operation and uh, who the men we're seeing are. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, currently, we are at the Joint Operations Center, which also serves as the National Operations Center for the Ghana Police Service. The men or the personnel who have been deployed are 70. They are deployed from uh, the combat teams, rovers, and also Operation Calm Life snap checks. Their task is first to go out and operate or do their normal operations of ensuring there are no crimes out there in the city. But today they've been given additional task that makes it unique, which is for them to go out and ensure that whilst protecting life and property, the directives by the president on COVID-19 is also enforced. So as they are going now, they are looking out for places where uh, we have parties, pubs, and other gatherings where COVID-19 is likely to be spread. So that's what we have seen. The significance of this particular brief or what uh, DCOP Dr. Saibu Gaiba did here was to be on the same page with the personnel who are being sent out. So you know what you are going out to do. So for instance, if any of these people should go out tonight and do something out of the, the terms and conditions that we're giving them here, they can actually discipline you or take a service discipline, disciplinary action against you. The team just arrived here at the Zex pub at Nungwa uh, and it's clear although the place is not uh, packed or full to capacity there are some revelers uh, here so the team of policemen have made their way in there uh, we're looking to see what exactly is going to happen uh, i see that uh, the police is trying to have access to management of the facility and so what we're with the team there's some level of engagement ongoing now uh, it looks like uh, the manager now uh, is out and so there's some level of engagement going on between the team lead and uh, the manager of uh, the place so yes we're waiting to see how it's panelled. M mind you there's another team that has gone up ahead of our team uh, 
and uh, that particular team is currently stationed at Italian Boy uh, and the assumption is that a similar operation or similar exercise is being carried out there and so as it stands now uh, manager of uh, this particular uh, pub, Zex pub here at Numba has been apprehended uh, obviously for flouting the president's directive on the opening of pubs. At Italian boy, well, it looks as though it's a twin pub because right next to it is one known as Infinity. And so or some officers have also made their way there to effect some arrest as some individuals are obviously also there. And so arrests are being effected and of course the place will be locked up all in compliance uh, with the president's directive on the closure of pubs and uh, nightclubs uh, as well as some, some joints. So the owner of the place or manager of the place uh, is being picked up, currently uh, uh, being apprehended. So the arrested persons are, are being put uh, in the back of the pickup truck. Uh, targets actually uh, is the owners or, or the managers of these uh, facilities uh, to deter others from opening and of course uh, keep people away or have people stay home so they don't patronize uh, these areas all in a bit to stem the spread of the coronavirus. So a total of 16 persons have been picked up uh, at Nungwa and brought to the, uh, uh, the Nungwa police station. These 16 are uh, made up of 15 males and just uh, one female and these comprise uh, managers of these uh, two pubs visited that's the Zex pub and of course the Italian boy pub now at the Italian boy pub of course there's another pub next to it known as Infinity so it makes it three pubs in total at Nungwa these are very popular uh, places that are patronized by revelers uh, and so 16 persons have been brought to the Nungwa police station 15 males uh, one female picked up all here at uh, Nungwa at another very uh, popular uh, uh, pub or lounge uh, if you like here at also at Nungwa it's called Jobek City nightclub lounge and uh, restaurant where a number of people uh, are obviously here having fun and uh, the police have just instructed them to lie down wherever they find themselves all in a bit to ensure that no one escapes. I entreat you to lock up the place and then you come with us to the Nungwa Kweishi police station. Why? Don't worry, if we get there, you get to understand what is it. But then we are telling you we are acting to ensure that the strict ad adherence of the COVID-19 protocol is seen through, please. Please kindly lock up their face. No, sweetheart. You won't. I, no, it's not that I won't. You won't. And it's not that I won't. Please. I'm Please. not saying no. I will go. But I want to know why. Please. Please. We have found you to have violated the law regarding the impositions of the uh, COVID-19 protocol. Please. As in, I don't really get it because please, I know. Don't the worry, don't worry, don't worry. The processes will begin and then you get to understand. So please, kindly lock up the place and then you come with us. Like you can see, we are policemen visibly in uniform. Where are you taking me, sir? We are taking you to the Peshi Divisional Headquarters. Peshi, that is Nungwa Police. That is so. I'm coming. Please, kindly lock up the place and shut the place. So, opposite uh, Jobex uh, City nightclub, lounge and restaurant is uh, Dorima's uh, food court uh, where the police uh, have taken time to explain to the owner of the facility uh, why she is being apprehended. Now this operates as a food court, as an eatery, uh, not necessarily a pub or a nightclub. But then again, uh, we know that per the president's directives, restaurants are to operate or are to serve takeouts only and not as sit-ins. And so clearly, she's also in violation of the directive by the president. So the first operation, uh, 16 persons, one female, 15 males. Second operation, uh, we have 20 uh, individuals or offenders uh, brought here to the Nungwa police station. And we have uh, five females in there with 15 males. Going back on the road, visiting other locations. Well, 
interesting turn of events here at the Shiraba uh, Kojo City Party office located uh, here in Spentex. Uh, initially, when the police got to the place, some persons uh, made a run for it. But of course, the police were smarter or faster than them. And so these persons were rounded up. Now, when police tried to access the facility, it was locked up from behind. Police did announce their presence, gave them some time to open the door, all to, uh, uh, all to futility. And so police had to force their way into the club itself. And when they did, indeed, some persons were in there. You could see uh, live shisha. Uh, you could see fire still on the shisha, obviously to suggest that indeed people uh, were in there having a time of their lives. This is Chris Berry, one of the popular joints here on the Spintex uh, Road. Uh, when the team got here, the club itself is closed in compliance uh, with the safety protocols. However, uh, the restaurant is operating. From Chris Berry, a total of 14 uh, suspects were picked up. Uh, these include uh, four females and ten males, including the manager of the Chris Berry. And so all 14 persons have been brought to the Bachona police station where they will be detained pending further investigations. At East Legon, the elite lounge, uh, it was a full house. Clearly hundreds of people gathered to party. Uh, no respect for social distancing at all. You could see a number of people in their mask, but obviously they would have to pull that mask down or take it off to consume whatever beverage uh, they had bought. And so uh, the challenge here is with the numbers. And so the police managed uh, to get all these people out or to disperse uh, these persons and of course picked up the manager of the facility, I mean the manager of the elite lounge, uh, who has been sent to the East Legon police station for detention and of course for further investigation and further police action. We've come to a cantonment, a stretch that houses about three uh, different uh, facilities. Uh, you have Oasis, you have Club Onyx. So the police uh, has rounded up a number of people, but then obviously the main target are the managers of these uh, facilities because the thinking behind uh, the operation is that if these facilities are locked in, in, in compliance with the president's directive, then of course patrons will, will stay home and won't be out. And that will go a long way to stem the spread of uh, the coronavirus. So yes, uh, please uh, look into pick up the managers uh, to detain them and to allow for further police action. So basically, that has been the operation throughout uh, the night. Uh, started from the Nungwa Enclave through Spintex, through East Legon, and now back to cantonments close to the police uh, headquarters. The second team uh, visited places like the London Bar. Uh, which is around on the Wager Road, Wager Kaswa Road, SCC area, as well as uh, some other popular sports around uh, Nyaso to um, Awoshi, Wager, La Paz, Odoko, as well as uh, Amasama. Uh, uh, about 20 persons, mostly uh, managers or operators of these popular pubs, uh, were apprehended and sent to. Uh, local police stations within Amasaman, Anya and uh, Weja.